This video illustrates the main properties of HP Labs multidirectional backlight. It is extremely compact, fits in a millimeter piece of glass in this case. It can be made completely transparent. It shows special multiplexing of colors and a very wide uh, view angle. And past the view angle, the uh, image simply disappears. This uh, next sequence shows uh, the uh, fully assembled uh, demo prototype with a uh, very compact uh, illumination system. And you can see that we can either do a full color a static image, such as this uh, little battery indicator uh, prototype on the left, or if we so choose, we can also create very basic uh, animated sequences of 3D images without the need for any uh, modulator, just by uh, turning on and off uh, a bunch of LEDs. This movie shows the potential for very low cost of the technology that can be made by nano imprint lithography, roll to roll. A roll is populated with all these nano features and then Films, meters of film can be obtained at very low cost, and we get something like this. We can see very little difference between the glass edge demo and the much cheaper uh, roll to roll imprinted version on the right. So in this next video we show the uh, static modulation of a much larger backlight, a 6 inch uh, wide uh, diameter. And the way we did this is by uh, overlaying a high resolution uh, printed mask that uh, we ordered at a print shop for about $50 with the uh, pixel size uh, of about uh, 18 micron. We overlay to uh, a mask of some of the uh, colored pixels to create a 3D image. As you can see, the uh, mixing of colors is achieved here through uh, special dithering of color. So we can see various patterns. We had a butterfly and flower, and this one is a, a bike on some uh, uh, tiled uh, ground. And you can see that the tiles are a little bit jumpy. Uh, and the reason is that they actually extend uh, far away uh, from the uh, zero disparity plane. This uh, next uh, test pattern was actually a bunch of uh, snowflakes, and here we were testing the ability to represent objects uh, pretty far from the uh, plane of the display. So here is plus minus two centimeter, and the ability to mix color. So you can see in that central pattern, uh, we try to achieve uh, white in the center, and then you have also the three primary colors, red, green, and blue, and also uh, the pair uh, of them, which is uh, a cyan, yellow, and uh, magenta. Next we move on to um, our attempt to represent some kind of urban landscape, which is actually um, a bunch of blocks, uh, cubes, and things like that. And we were trying to um, overlay some uh, uh, colored blocks in a, in a way that uh, is well aligned. So for example, the, the top of some of the blocks is the green or blue color, while the sides are red. And finally, uh, probably the most uh, impressive achievement so far is this uh, 3D image of a turtle showing the uh, very wide amount of uh, parallax. So you can move around the turtle and see the top of the head, the back, the left and right eye. So you can move around a lot. So this video shows our first successful active modulation of the backlight using a liquid crystal shutter plane. And as you can see, the uh, shutter plane had to be thinned down to uh, 50 micron for the top cover, 
which cause the liquid crystal to actually form uh, this bubble on the left side but on the right side the display is still intact and we can use it. So after showing a pattern uh, where different numbers were displayed in different view zones we move on to our first uh, 3D image, a rotating cube. Then we have a letter X turning around a letter O in 3D space. The frame rate is uh, 30 per second, so video rate. Then we have a, a turning head, just showing a kind of a glimpse of the future, you know, at the video conference on your on your watch or your mobile phone, for example. And then uh, a turning globe. So this is the uh, planet Earth uh, turning on its axis.